let's talk about uh the Big Ten coaches had uh they had a call with our hardball on the phone to discuss Michigan sign cheating allegations. They've been under investigation for two weeks and they want the Big Ten commissioner, Tony something, to take action on Michigan now. And like I said, James Franklin been crying for how long? You know, uh, Michigan State didn't use any signs and they lost 49 to zero. Now you talk to some football players and they say that's just called good scouting. I mean, you can get film and see what that and, and see and steal signs off film. Now, apparently Michigan got something else going on with a guy that do that did some things with some I don't know with some girls or whatever. I ain't really follow that story a lot, but they sure did did take the shine away from uh from Michigan State. And like I said before, all they doing is targeting Harbaugh for lying. You got to understand, you know, Michigan put a self-imposed uh, four-game, I think it was a four-game suspension on hardball. The NCAA is out for blood, you know what I'm saying, with hardball at the University of Michigan. And, you know, now everybody want to get together, say something should happen, and they should be banned. And they got to understand, Michigan is a blue blood. Michigan produced more money than any college football program really year in, year out, named te not Texas. And maybe not, and maybe Georgia. I think Michigan might routinely come in third or second behind Texas. Or right behind Georgia. So you got to understand, that's why Michigan always get favorable rankings and stuff, because they bring a lot of money to the table. You know what I'm saying? And that's why they love Alabama, because it's, you know, they bring a lot of money to the table. So even more so than Ohio State, even though Ohio State have been mad successful, but Ohio State already know you know, in, in Penn State, already know they probably the ones pushing forward the hardest. They already know what's about to happen to their ass. They already know what's up. So, a bunch of coaches getting on the call and, and crying and complaining about these allegations and stuff. Like I said before, a, a, you know, go out there and beat them. How about that? Penn State, you on the phone talking shit? Get on the phone. Uh, go out there and, and beat Michigan. Ohio State last game of the season, go out there and beat Michigan. Why do you why do y'all need more controversy hanging over their head? If they've been investigating for two weeks and they can't find nothing to put on Michigan, then I don't know what to say. Oh yeah, do you know he went to different stadiums and he did this, that, man, I can steal signs. We can DVR the goddamn game and steal signs. Let's keep it real. You can DVR the game and steal signs. Okay, when they put this little NASCAR sign up, they going and they they playing cover too. That's my whole thing about it. So a lot of you know uh, football players, Robert Griffin III, and a few other people said it's it's not a big deal. You know, Michigan State, you no, know, they didn't use no signs and they didn't score a touchdown. They lost forty nine to zip. And like I said before, James Franklin always crying about some shit. Always crying. You know, Ryan Day, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm pretty sure he was on there crying. It was suspend Michigan and all that, man. If somebody was cheating against me, dude, I want to go out there and beat him. I want to go out there and crush him. You know? But if Michigan was stealing signs, they got to get taxed. That's just what it is. I don't understand what you need to steal signs for. You know, you can know what's coming, but you still got to stop it. They knew what TCU was going to run, huh? TCU, TCU still won. But them getting on the phone and gossiping and all that type of shit, man, that's just, man, feminine envy. You know, they need to ban this and ban that and, and this, that, and the third. I can just imagine them on the phone crying and complaining and James Franklin and Ryan Day uh, lead the charge. I can just imagine. I know who it was. Cause ain't nobody stealing no signs to, 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 from for, for Purdue. Now apparently they were saying that you know they had a guy that you know, Michigan was stealing signs at the Central Michigan game to steal Michigan State signs or something like that on the sideline. And he was disguised and all this. So I don't know, man. I can't really call it. But the other charge with the laptop and all that stuff, that seems serious. 
And it's a lot of weirdos out here. This is why people don't let their kids go spend the nights nowhere. This is why your kid can't go to a sporting event or Chuck E. Cheese and use the bathroom by themselves. It's a, it's a lot of weird activity out here. You know, and I, you know, but then again, you got to understand the origin of, of that, that activity. Speak on that for a minute. You got to understand the origin, bro. That go back to, they go back to, you know, ancient Greek time. It, 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 you know, to be honest, they go back to the true meaning of, of Christmas. A lot of y'all don't know that. It's a pagan holiday. That's what they used to do on Christmas. Hate to break the news to y'all. And now they trying to bring that back. And they say nothing is new, nothing is new up under the sun. And they and they trying to bring you know that behavior back and they trying to I heard people defending that. Ain't no way I'm defending that. Ain't no way. Now, you know, I, I was in high school and you had 30, 40 year old women coming to mess with the 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade girls. You know what? Nobody batted an eye. You see the girl sneaking outside the side door, you know why you in class? Want to mess with older women, dudes? And then I tell you this, man. A lot of those women, they never the same. They damaged. These are the same damaged women that made those mistakes, and then want you to be baby daddy and be Captain Save a Ho. So I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all that, bro. It is what it is, though. Everybody, everybody want to be fast. Everybody want to be grown. Enjoy being a child. Enjoy. Enjoy. That's all I really can say. Enjoy it, but I never justify that bull crap. Never. So that that case seemed a little bit more serious. Just from what I'm hearing. I don't know the particulars and all that, but just what I'm kind of reading. But the whole Big Ten coaches getting on the phone, crying and complaining about some bull about that, bruh. And why dudes that get pickup trucks and never park their pickup truck? Let's talk about that. I don't know if they choose to double park on purpose, but they can never park their pickup truck. I had a pickup truck. It wasn't that hard to park for me. This is my humble opinion, dude. This dude, like, they, they got cameras on pickup trucks now, and they want to double park. I don't get that. And then when they park in the back of the parking lot, they'll never want to double park where it ain't where where it's space and opportunity where where everybody where ain't nobody trying to park. They want to double park where everybody trying to park. But nonetheless, check out the college sports talk playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash App, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Peace.